How y'all doing today? Uh, working on this horse trailer. Uh, some of my past videos had some bad... I'm still learning this GoPro. I just updated for this media pod and it was in stereo. So it was... Sometimes it pick up my voice, sometimes it would. It was picking up my neighbor doing some jackhammering on some concrete. Uh, a lot. <laughs> so you'll hear some of that and I'm sorry about it. But we're back on it today. We're cutting plywood. I've got six sheets of three in 1130 seconds I'm sorry. so i've got six sheets of 1130 seconds cdx plywood which is sanded on one side smooth and cutting it into well she wanted six inch but to be able to get use the whole sheet of plywood i'm cutting it just a hair over five and three quarter inches and uh, that way i can get nine sheets is it nine nine pieces instead of eight pieces out of the plywood the last piece would have been short just been a little would have been a waste so she brought me some that was already cut six inches so i just cut them down to match these if i need them and uh, i'm cutting all these at one time so i'm clamping them with this i've got this piece of uh, two inch square tubing that i'm using just as a guide for the skill saw because i'm by myself today kids are my some of them at the grandparents, my oldest boys at his debate competition. So I'm kind of by myself today. And uh, that goes more to show you what all I do by myself. I mean, I figure this stuff out. Would I have gotten them down here to help me cut, rip them? Maybe. I would have just set the skill saw and done it on my own. But most likely I would have just did this anyway. Cut them all at once, be done. So uh, I'm gonna just already cut one, everything went good. I'm just going to show you one more time and then I'll probably cut the rest, you know, just save video and better. And then when I'm by myself, I just clamp this in. It holds it. This stuff's about a two and eight inches thick with six sheets. Yep, two and eight inches thick with six sheets. And uh, this is a two inch clamp that just barely goes over. It works fine. There we go. I'll get the rest of these cut and uh, go from there. It'll be interesting. Never done this. <laughs> She's that's what she wants. We're gonna make it happen. All right. Well, let's look at what I got done the other day. Uh, dead battery and it was dark. Uh, didn't have. Couldn't see really a lot, but. Well, come on in and see. Have a look. So I got all the fern strips up. And the, um, the, the wall boards, she wants shiplap siding. They'll come side to side, horizontal. Uh, we're going to put, this is angled. When you come in this door, this wall, starting right here is at an angle because it's, it's a slant load horse trailer so this wall is angled it's uh about uh eight foot from that stub wall for the gooseneck part where the bed will be so it's about eight foot from there to that corner and it's a little less than eight foot from here to here um 
because it's at an angle, so it makes it longer. But I got uh, just about all the strip. I gotta get some one by threes. I'm headed to go get some one by threes now. Put up around the windows, and then I gotta start the uh, front cabinet. Uh, ripped out what they had put in. I'm gonna do it built in, and it's just my OCD kicking in. I, I couldn't do it. Uh, so I'm gonna get that brought out, built up, have uh, now the now the cabinet come all the way down to the bottom to the deck, but it'll be built up in front of where the mattress will be. You have to you know be like a drop down into it. And I'll do uh, I'll probably do nine inches or so, nine or ten inches from the floor to the top to the bottom of the opening for the cabinet doors and then I'll do uh, probably another 10 or 12 inches to that one and the top one will be a little bit narrower probably somewhere in the uh, 8 inches or so but yeah let's go get some uh, Shia Luan we're gonna have that whole back that whole I say back that's actually the front but it'll be the whole uh, piece will be uh, piece of Luan because it's got a curve pretty good little curve on it so I'll just use some Luan make it easy it's, in, it's inside the, the cabinet so it doesn't really necessarily have to match the this the theme in here uh, so that's where we're at wish I had more time to work on it but I don't working these nights it's, it's tough during the week right now See y'all later. All right, just a little update. Just showing all the furnace strips are done. Got all the framing done for the back of the cabinet in the front. All the windows are framed in. Had to use two by threes on the top and bottom because of the way the uh, um, structures are for the uh, trailer itself. I wanted to make sure I got screw into it. And I'm cutting the luon now, the back of the cabinets skinned up. Start getting a more start from the front, I think, and work my way back. Well, I'm gonna get the front done first, all the cabinets done in the front, and then I'll start uh, doing the wall sheathing here. So we go from the top to the bottom. That way, when we come up, the pieces going across here will be all in line on both sides. Make it look all nice and neat. Alrighty, let's do it, baby.